Now we're coming back to check on the crock pot technique that we did that is also known as hand painting or tortoise shell dyeing. And you've seen me apply the dye on top of the fibers. I have not disturbed this at all. And I'm going to check to see if it has actually exhausted all the dye. Exhausted means when the water is clear, that means the fibers have soaked in all the dye. And we're gently going to pull this away. I don't know if you all can see. Let me see if I zoom in. You see how the dye pot water is absolutely clear? Then that means that the fibers have actually soaked up all the dye. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip these fibers over. Because I want to have the coloration come all the way through. Whoop, I just flipped the water out. Okay. You're not, I, I'm not disturbing this too much. I'm not stirring it around too much. Okay, I'm just moving it gently. And now I'm going to apply more dye in the same fashion that I did before. Oops, sorry, probably just saw my head there. Going to take up my orange. This is a fun way of dyeing. It's so pretty when you see the finished product. And it's so different too. This whole process takes a good hour or two, depending on the look that you're going for. And it actually looks like you hand painted the fibers. And it's easy. It's easy to do because it's all done in a crock pot. Okay, now I'm going to apply my yellow. I love to use syringes because it really does allow you to get the color right where you want it. Apply the pink. Oops. Pink, work with me. I'm getting low on my dye stock. Boy, this is going to be a really pretty Easter-y looking color, isn't it? I love it! Whoops! 
I just lost my syringe and my dye bath and my jar. I'm using a very large jar. Okay, now I'm going to let that cook for another 30 minutes and I'm going to come back and check it out.